Ahoy everyone, good evening, it's Jeff aka Godless Scummer, um, I will record a video tonight, um, I don't know if it's going to be a rant or not, I don't even know what it's going to be, um, and the reason I, I just don't know is, this is, sub this is a topic that I've been, co that I've covered a little bit on my channel, um, and I've been kept meaning to want to sit down and do like a long deep dive into it. But I simply can't keep on top of this story. Because the level of fuckery isn't just immense. It is constant. It's constant more fuckery going on almost on a daily basis now. <coughs> so what am I talking about? Um... That's my old friends at Atheist Alliance International. Mm. I'm going to talk about them again. Um, and I'm also making this because I'm going to honour uh, an honour a slight request from someone for uh, <coughs> John Hamill. Uh, you um, honour a slight request to you. I have a Guinness. And I've got a Jameson. Okay. Now, so I'm drinking the Ir the Irish brew here. Now, I hope that th that doesn't make me um, predisposed to um, any violent behaviour. Because apparently, according to John Richards, you guys have that predisposition. And just, so that, just by the way... Um, Manya, if you watch this as well, this cost me £7.65, which I know is a small fortune in India. Okay, so let's get that out of the way, shall we? Fuck you, John Richards. Um, uh, so, uh, long story short here. Um, a couple of weeks ago, they, AAO put out this thing called a disclosure document okay um which i guess was supposed to be a bit of a house cleaning thing um and as to all the things that have gone on and a lot of the allegations that have been made um allegations made by guys like john you know john hamill shirley rivera num number of others um you know just off the top of my head and you know um, allegations which I'm going to say they seem to bring a lot of receipts for and the uh, AAI side don't bring any goddamn evidence for. But even in this document, um, which I won't really go into in this, because I, I encourage everyone to read it and I will, I'll publish a link to an article, article John Hamill wrote and there's a link there where you can download and read this disclosure document to your heart's content um, I encourage people to do that um, but it, it it even but this thing did admit to some of the, it, it did it you know pretty much admit to some of the wrongdoing um, I mean there but it's been phrased in a Old mistakes were made, but but they were all honest mistakes, and it it all had that kind of tone. It's uh, it's all a uh, yeah, we we screwed up, and and the fact that you know, hey, our board's not been legitimate since like twenty seventeen, you know, and we changed bylaws and everything illegitimately in this organisation. Um. And they're going to have this EGM next month or whatever, where they're hopefully going to set everything right. But they lied their ass off for this document as well. Um, and a, a good, yes, yeah, a 28 page document. The last 11 pages of it or so are just dedicated to, I think, knocking back the, uh, uh, supposedly trying to discredit the arguments made by free guys like John Hamill and so on, guys in Free Thought Profit. You know the critics, the critics of AAI. They don't provide a lick of fucking evidence or any of their um, anything, any of this though. They're just saying this isn't true, this isn't true, this isn't true. But they're not demonstrating. 
look, look, if those guys, if these guys, if guys like John Hamill, Free Thought Prophet, guys, uh, guys like Shirley Rivera, some, and some of the other critics are wrong, don't just say that. You, you, you can't just expect me to read that, someone like me, to read that. And accept your word for it that they're wrong when you don't bring any fucking receipts and the other side do. Um, so, sip this. I'm not down in this, okay? Sip. Oh yeah, I'm feeling fighty already. Furthermore... I also read, and this will be in the article, and again, I encourage the, uh, the article, people to read the article, I'm going to read it from below, this is from John Hamill, and they want to make amendments to this document, um, what they're saying is qualifications, amendments to what, I mean, if this is full disclosure, then actually disclose. Be fucking honest, AAI, please. And I said, look, this isn't going to be a great video for me. I know this. I I'm not bringing a lot of the risks. I'm not, you know, I'm not as familiar with the inner workings of that organisation. Not the way like a guy like John Hamill is, um, for example, or, you know, people who've worked with an AAI before. I I I'm not, uh, but... I know bullshit when I see it. I know I'm not I'm not bad at spotting bullshit. And there is so much bullshit in, in there. Um but there's some interesting little tidbits as well. Um now people may remember uh, you know, um myself and uh, Chris from Heretical was responding to something that John Richards put out a few months ago, um and I mean, one of the most dis uh, the despicable things John Richards said, he had an issue, there was a guy from India who was editing and setting the, mag the magazine for AAI, um, and in an actual physical magazine, a lot of this as well, um, which people in countries where they might not be as easy to internet access might appreciate something like that. Now, he seemed to... Um, have an issue with this guy being paid and it was either six thousand pounds or six thousand dollars a year um he seemed to john richards seemed to fluctuate between dollars and pounds i don't know i, I don't know which was which i'm assuming it's dollars because it, aai is based in america but then he said uh um you know oh well, that's too much to be paying a guy in india because that's a small fortune in this country now look if that work was worth 6k a year, that works, that works worth 6k a fucking year. And from what I've heard, it sounds to me like, um, from all the things this guy was doing, you're getting a fucking bargain. John Richards is one of the people who had a big problem with that. Turns out John Richards took over uh, secular, the editorship of Secular World when he was on this, when he'd been co-opted onto this board of directors. Turns out he was then took the goddamn money himself. Now, they tried to say that he took a bit less, but again, they provide no bloody receipts or financials for any of that whatsoever. As far as I know, John Richards was um, getting the full 6K a year, as far as I fucking know. And... And that's the other thing, and I, I keep mentioning John Richards. Okay, I want to make this clear. John Richards is not the... He's not the ma he was not the mastermind of this bullshit with AAI. He's not he's not necessarily you know he it doesn't it doesn't start and end with him. But he's the guy who just can't seem to keep his goddamn mouth shut at the moment. And um, and there's been this absolute. I mean, it must have been going on for a fucking week now. This Twitter thread. Um, that is an absolute glorious dumpster fire. And it's John Richards. Still desperately trying to defend himself and still sort of, in a way, trying to defend AAI. Despite the fact, I'm not going to tell you this, you read this fucking document, these, these fuckers threw him under the bus. It's fucking unreal. It's fucking unreal. Um, 
I can't make it. A lot of this is, I just, and this is the thing, I can't keep on top of this. Because, as I said at the beginning, there seems to be a new bit of fuckery that comes out from this organisation on a daily basis. And it would be funny as fuck if it was not for the fact that this is the only um, organisation that is really lobbies for atheists on a global level. It's made up of affiliate groups. I'm not... I'm not a big atheist activist. Uh, I've been a political activist in my life. I've, I've never really been active around atheism. Um, I've not have necessarily always had the greatest relationship with atheist activist groups. Um, I find, you know, I, I find some of, you know, I find some of them to be, yeah, you know, I have, I have my issues with them, um, with some of them, um, and. But I also, at the same time, I understand that there's a need for it. Um, you know, um, and especially for an organisation where that could, you know, that got that status with the UN, which I think I believe is hanging by a thread now. I've, I won't go all over that again because I addressed this in another little rant in the pub that I recorded a month or so ago. I, for one, I, I would actually, I, uh, an idealist in me perhaps would like to think that maybe these guys will just fuck off and go, but and then AAI can go back to the way it was. That's what I hope happens. I, I want AA, I want AAI to go back to what, you know, to go back to what it was because, and they've lost, like I said, they've lost their Council Europe thing, um. I don't quite know what's going on gone on with the non profit thing. I understood that they lost it, but I uh, saw something today that they might still be registered as a five oh one C three in the United States. <coughs> I saw something today uh, but that I haven't had a chance to really dive into. Full quote unquote disclosure on that. But the thing is it ha does have this thing with the UN, um, and I want to see it used. I don't want to see it abused the fucking way it's been. I don't. I want because the, here's the thing: the only other option is then trying to put something new together, um, and that's a lot of fucking hard work, and it's not easy. It's not easy to do that, uh, especially to go through all that hard work of then once again trying to get back in with the UN and get in with the Council of Europe. Um, all that stuff. It's not an overnight process. And here's the thing. Like the religious groups or whatever. They have got their people. At these things like the Council of Europe and the UN. They've got to be laughing when they see AAI turn up to any of this shit. And see the things that they, they put in. If they even put anything in. I might not be a member. I might not have the greatest... Uh, love of, for a lot of atheist activist groups but I understand the need for it and for better or worse as an atheist these fu these, pe these fucking people are representing me I want better fucking representation in this I seriously do and again I will reiterate what I said the last time I did about this that these people you know um I like, and I do know, and I will say in fairness, I do know that there's people within that AAI that are, that are still in that organisation that are trying to um, fight the good fight within it. Um, I don't know their names. I know some. Of, I know John Hamill probably does, and he's not at liberty to share that because some of them are supplying him with information because they know, they see the bullshit that's going on. And they're trying to desperately fight to save this organisation. But, for better or worse, these people represent me as an atheist. They represent everyone as an atheist. And again, reiterate, people who are affiliates, members... And in particular, like these people who are on this advisory council to AAI, who don't seem to fucking want to step up to the plate yet. Yeah, Lawrence Krauss, for what? I'm looking at you. 
Where's your fucking voice in this? You, you guys have got weight. I'm a tiny little. I'm a tiny little fucker with like 500 subscribers on on a YouTube channel. I don't have a big voice, but I'm. You know, I want to see the people who've got a big voice in this community call, start calling this bullshit out. Because it's important that you do. Okay. Um, this has been Jeff, a.k.a. Godless Scummer. Um, shall see you all later. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my Guinness and the rest of my Jameson. See you all later. Salute.